March has come and gone. It brought along a plentiful of fascinating, engaging and thrilling new games for Mac. So, without further ado, here are the top 10 new Mac games for March of 2018. Starting at number 10, we have Guns, Gore and Cannoli 2. Here we have a platformer that aims to revive the feel of classic platformers, but with the addition of humor and lots of gore. And when I say lots, I mean you'll see buckets of blown off body parts and blood squirts all over the place. It's quite nasty, but, but awesome. It's the sequel to the first gangster story and includes all the fast paced action that made the first one successful. You'll also find upgradable character mobility, a campaign mode, online and local co-op, and impressive environments. It is quite a short game, but that isn't really an issue, as every moment is fun and humorous, especially with some friends. You do know there's a war going on there, right? Number 9 is Out of the Park Baseball 19. Officially licensed by MLB and the MLBPA, Out of the Park Baseball 19 is the latest entry in the renowned sports strategy game. If you like sport games and baseball, this might just be the game for you. You can guide an MLB franchise to glory, play in seasons, or create a fictional baseball world. It's not everyone's cup of tea, I get that, and it is quite expensive, but if you can get over the expense of the game, you might find that you enjoy this type of gameplay, like creating fictional players and fictional worlds. You can really get stuck into it is what I'm getting at. Number 8 we have The Long Reach. At first glance, this looks like an adventure game, but if you play a little longer, you'll notice it's also a thrilling horror story. Like the Steam store page says, it has sci-fi ideology, psychological context, and a skeptical view on the human physique. The good news too is that The Long Reach offers a free demo, so you can check it out and see if you enjoy the game before buying the full experience. The requirements are also really low, so you can run it on most Intel-based Macs running 10.7 Lion or later. It's got a great atmosphere, nice music, interesting characters, and an engaging storyline. Number 7 is Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. This is a narrative adventure game all about traveling, sharing stories, and surviving destiny. It's a really peculiar game, but I love the look of it. The illustrations have been hand-drawn, which gives the game a unique look. It has a mix of 2D visuals and a 3D overworld US map. You'll travel across a folkloric depression era of the United States, meeting new faces with stories to tell. The stories act as a currency to progress further into the game. It's hard to describe this game as the gameplay is rather different from others, but it makes more sense if you try it out yourself. Number 6 we have Human Fall Flat. This game was released on Steam back in 2016, however, in March 2018 it was brought to the Mac App Store. A lot of you prefer to play games via the Mac App Store, mostly because you can use everything under the Apple ecosystem, so I couldn't help but promote this game. It's a physics-based puzzle and exploration game where you'll solve puzzles alone or with some of your buddies. It's a really fun title. Each level is well made and fun to work through, solo or with friends. Even when you finish the game, it's rather short, it's good to come back and learn new things on each level. Bang. Number 5 is Sid Meier's Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. A new DLC was released for Civilization 6. This DLC requires the base game of Civilization 6, so it isn't a standalone experience. I just wanted to clarify that. 
The expansion brings new systems like choices, strategies, and challenges for players. In addition to these new systems, we have eight new civilians, nine new leaders, eight new worlds, new units, districts, and buildings. It's honestly a smallish update that doesn't really change the overall gameplay, and it's a little pricey, but I thought some of you would be interested to know what it offers. Number four, we have Surviving Mars. A strategy simulation game set on Mars is what you'll get with this one. You'll colonize this red planet and try to survive through the process. Build domes and infrastructures and research new technology. You can also produce your own food for your colony. It's interesting to know that each civilian here is unique with their own traits and issues. You have to keep them happy or else their traits can affect the livelihood of your colony. Surviving Mars doesn't really add anything new into the city building genre, but if you like games like SimCity or, I don't know, City Skylines, you'll enjoy this experience. Number three is Northgard or Northguard. I don't know. Here is another strategy game for you. It's based on Norse mythology, so you'll control a clan of Vikings with the goal of controlling the lands around you. It's similar to what you know with RTS strategy. First, you build a settlement on newly discovered land, then assign jobs for farmers, warriors, sailors, etc. And then expand and discover new territory. You can play the game with friends or just against an AI with different difficulty levels, which is great. It's similar to other games in the family like Age of Empires or Rise of the Nations, but at the same time it's also different and I'll leave you to discover why that is. Number two, we have Earthlock. This is an adventure RPG inspired by late 90s games in the same genre. It's a fresh take on turn-based combat and character progression. It's important to know that the game is challenging, so fans of the JRPG genre should enjoy Earthlock, but if you're a casual player, you might not get into this one. Earthlock is best when you invest your time into it. The game offers a lot like craftable weapons and equipment, side quests, heroes, a big world, intense battles, and a talent table board system. If you haven't played the original game Earthlock Festival of Magic, this recent edition brings new upgrades and enhances on all of the features that made the first one successful. Number one, we have Chuchel or Chuchel, I don't know. Yes, this game is really weird, like really bizarre. It's something else entirely. It's a comedy adventure game made by the guys who created Machinarium, Botocanalia, and Samorost. I don't know how to say those words. They are really, really unusual. You'll follow a hairy character called Chuchel and his rival Kekel. You'll have to solve numerous puzzles and challenges along their journey. The game might look like it's for kids, and don't get me wrong, kids will also love Chuchel or Chuchel, but the game is actually ageless. Anyone can enjoy its humorous gameplay. The requirements are also rather low, so you can enjoy this game on older Macs. I love the art style, I love the sound design, and I love the puzzle design. I love everything here. <laughs> What did you think of this month's new Mac games? Are you pleased with what we have got or will you look towards April's new Mac games? Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new. Thanks guys. Bye bye.